Hello, so today we are here with Colin Beaver, who is our Lucas electrical expert at Holden Vintage and Classic. We're here to talk about control boxes. So Colin, can you tell me how many control boxes are there? Uh, in the early days, there was quite a lot. There were ones for the um, three brush dynamos, um, several of those, and then several for the two brush dynamos. Um, now we're probably down to about half a dozen different types. Okay, and what does a control box do? A control box regulates and cuts out the voltage going from the dynamo to the battery, basically so as the battery doesn't overcharge. Okay, and what could happen if the battery overcharged? Um, it would just keep charging and charging and then it could burst into flames, blow up really. Okay, you don't want <laughs> it's, that. It's rare, it's not, not going to happen very often, but yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's the difference between these control boxes we've got here in front of us? Well, what we've got here is um, the two at the back, these are um, basically motorcycle or agricultural tractors and things like that. Um, all these here are basically the same with different terminal layouts. Um, these are two bobbin control boxes, so they've got uh, a regulator and a cutout unit. And then the later version of those, they made into a three bobbin one, which has got a cutout a voltage regulator, but also it's got a current regulator. Okay, and do you have control boxes in modern cars? No, they finish the dynamo and control box set up in favour of the alternator which is everything all in one unit. Okay, can you fit an alternator in a vintage and classic car? You can do, uh, but it requires quite a lot of work. You've got to have new brackets, uh, the wiring's all different. Um, but what they have done now is come up with a, a good alternative. Something like this, um, well it looks just like a dynamo, um, but actually inside it there's a modern alternator. So you've got all the benefits of an alternator but still keeping the original looks of a dynamo. Okay, so this would be more efficient than the old control boxes. Definitely. More efficient, more powerful and a lot more reliable, yeah. But there is a price tag attached to it. Oh yeah. Um, these come in at about £400. They do vary, but in that region, which is going to be a lot more expensive than the old setup, yeah. But it's quite nice because you get to keep that old look as well. As you do, um, because you run this in conjunction with a dummy control box, which basically just ends up being a junction box. So that's just for your wiring, but this does all the work. Okay, that's fantastic. So. Say you've got a control box in your car and it stops working, is there anything that you can do? Yeah, um, there's adjustments on a control box. Um, you can adjust the settings here, but lots of the problems are caused just by dirty contacts. So a little bit of emery paper, clean the contacts. Um, if it's still not working, you can always phone us up for one of our technical information sheets. Can just send out to you in the post and that gives all the workshop instructions on how to do proper tests and how to fix it. Okay, so we sell new control boxes, uh, the old vintage ones that will still work and also refurbished control boxes. Can you tell us a little bit about sort of the part numbers and what we've got in stock? Yeah, um, these two here, these two are both the same unit. These are RB106s, probably the most popular control box ever made. Same thing, just different terminals. So you've got push-on terminals, or you've got screw terminals. Apart from that, identical. These are what they call the RF95, which was the earlier style than that, with nine terminals. Um, this is a reproduction which we make in-house. Um, and yeah, we're the we're, only people that manufacture the uh, RF-95. We are, yeah. So if you've got a reproduction one, it's come from us. Um, that, if, well, that one there is an original old RF-95. Um, now, we do occasionally recondition these to something like that. So that's an RF-95 with the original base, original top. And you still get all the embossing and the original artwork yeah. on those. Um, still got the Lucas top, still got the part numbers, but it's got 
brand new internals, new um, terminals on the front, and fully tested, as good as a new unit, yeah. Okay, and why would you buy from Holden Vintage and Classic as opposed to anywhere else? Well, we make sure that every control box that leaves the premises has been tested. So even if you're buying just one of the smaller ones here, it gets tested before it leaves the workshop so you just don't get any problems. Okay, and how much do all these retail for? Um, they start off here. Um, these start at around about £20 and then go through to an RF95, which is about 150 so quite a range. Yeah. Okay, and then you've also got our Dynamo Ultimator as yes. well, which um, is at the higher higher price tag of about 400 You got that, yeah. We've got all of these in stock. Um, if you'd like to buy a control box or ask us any questions, please get in touch. Our telephone number is 018885 sorry, 018854884888, or you can email us, sales at holden.co.uk, or you can go to our website, which is www.holden.co.uk. I hope you've liked the video. If you've got any questions, please get in touch, and we'll be glad to hear from you. Thank you.